All right, so the last story here, shifting over to Ukraine. Slovakia's prime minister says that Ukraine must give up territory. Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico said over the weekend that only that the only way to end the war in Ukraine is for Kiev to give up some of its territory to Russia. So he said, quote, there has to be some kind of compromise. What do they expect that the Russians will leave Crimea, Donbass and Luhansk? That's unrealistic. End quote. Fico was elected toward the end of 2023 after campaigning to end Slovakia's support for the war in Ukraine. His government followed through on that pledge and stopped supplying Ukraine with military aid, which is significant because Slovakia is a NATO country. And FICO will meet with Ukraine's prime minister on Wednesday, and he said he's going to tell him that Slovakia will block any attempts to bring Ukraine into NATO. He said, quote, I will tell him that I am against the membership of Ukraine in NATO and that I will veto it. It would merely be a basis for World War III if nothing else, end quote. So he also said Ukraine was not a sovereign nation because it's under the total influence and control of the United States. So responding to these comments, Ukraine's foreign ministry said that Kiev would not give up any territory that they're going to fight on. And we've seen that from Zelensky and other top Ukrainian officials. They're still saying that they're going to kick, drive Russia out of all this territory. And you, Zelensky still pushing his so-called peace plan that would require Russia to give up Crimea and Russia to go through war crimes tribunals, just all these completely unrealistic demands that the Ukrainians are making. But things, you know, things are, I I do need to cover this more. Someone mentioned in the comments yesterday, we ran this story uh, in the lower part of the page. I didn't think too much of it, but there was an attack on a Russian gas facility on the Baltic Sea near uh, St. Petersburg in the Leningrad Oblast, which is really far from Ukraine. It's like something like 500 miles from the Ukrainian border. So the the, the question is, uh, could, you know, where did they launch that attack from? An attack on the Baltic Sea. Um, Ukraine has has launched some attacks pretty deep into, into Russian territory, but I believe that, that, as far as I've seen, that's the deepest drone attack. Um, they've done some pretty, pretty far in, but... That is definitely something uh, to keep an eye on. Russia has not officially blamed Ukraine for the attack yet, but it's definitely uh, something uh, that could really escalate things.